So here you have eight new school kettlebell exercises for you to try to spice up your workout, to get more creative with your exercises, to have more fun in the gym, because that's what keeps us going back for more. It's what's keeping me going back for more. Check it out. Now, before we begin, I just have to preface the exercises by saying there are two key principles for you to understand to understand what I'm actually doing with these moves because they all stem from traditional kettlebell movements but these principles are what make them different and makes you get more out of the kettlebell. These two principles are the coiling core and rotational movement training. Now if it's a coiling move you will maintain a core position which is anchoring in to one side deeply in the core in your oblique and maintaining that lock for the duration of the exercise. If it's a rotational movement exercise, you'll be swapping from a coil on one side to a coil on the other side of the body. Now this takes a little more skill and is generally a little more difficult as you have to time the exchange of coils from one side to the other, which is generally done at the most weightless moment of the exercise. I'll call this RMT for short. Okay, let's get started with some moves. First off, we've got to prime the coil by using a resistance band, locking into the coil, whilst taking a few steps as well, just to show that we can hold the coil, maintain it whilst in motion. Once you're primed with the coil, then we can start off number one with a coiled swing. You can see it's like a normal swing, but we've got a staggered stance, head over that lead leg, weight on that lead leg, and we're coiled on that side the whole time. Next up, you're gonna take that coiled swing for a walk. You see it's got a two shuffle steps per swing, and you get a time the steps with the swing. So it's two steps on the way up and then control and cushion on the way down. To exercise number two then, we got one of my favorites, the high pull. I love this because you get that lovely weightless moment at the top. Both forearms are almost 180 degrees against each other while she's coiling deep on the left, the right elbow driving high and into the sky. Now we're gonna do this with a walk as before. Take those two steps on the way up, freeze, and then control it on the way down. Onto exercise number three, then we got the coiled snatch. You can see most of the weight is on that front leg. That back leg is just like a kickstand and I'm deep in the coil on my left hand side at the bottom and at the top. As you know from before, we're gonna take it for a walk this time. One step on the way up, freeze. One step on the way down, control it. Control, rhythm and timing is the name of the game. Okay, now we're gonna use rotation to exchange coils from side to side. You might wanna warm up with some light rope flow, some drag and roll, some underhand as well as some bands, really pulling apart with the arms, using the core to make this happen. First up then, back to the one arm swings, but we're gonna go hand to hand. You can see swapping coils, elbow in my oblique, side to side on that Wolfian ridge, changing the hands, changing the stagger of the stance as I go. As before, I'm gonna take it for a walk. With these walking hand to hand RMT swings, Exercise number five then, the RMT press. As you can see here, I'm coiled, bell in my right hand on that right leg, and as I drive up, the coil swaps to my other side, and I express it out the top. Alternate version of this is the monkey press. I'm gonna leave you to figure out the difference between these two moves. But either way, whichever way you prefer, or try both, you're gonna take them for a walk with this walking RMT press, one step with the legs per upper body motion. On to exercise six then, one of my all-time favorite kettlebell moves, the RMT clean. See I'm coiled at the bottom over that left leg and as I pull it to the top, get weightless and then swap the coil, driving that right hip up and forwards into the elbow, elbow down and back, wrapping the arm around at the front. And then once you've got it dialed on the spot, take that bad boy for a walk. Okay, for number seven, we're gonna piece those last two together, clean and press RMT style. So we're changing the coil twice on the way up and twice on the way down. Really focus on what's happening in the core. The whole time you're doing this, focus on what's happening in the core and let the arms be an extension of that action. And just to prove that the arms and the legs are connected and working in unison as one harmonious unit, you're gonna take it for a walk. To exercise eight then and we've got another one of my favorites the hand to hand snatch exchanging coils here is a better demonstration of it tim see that elbow in the hip we get the swing get that bell high when it's weightless we swap the coils over go low get it up swap the hands swap the coil you already know what's next see the head and the ribs over the front leg each time shifting that weight rotating at the ribs Okay, now we're into the meat and potatoes. Here is what I really wanted to show you all along. 
get the step out. You've done them on the spot. You've done it for a walk. Now we're going to do it with a step. You might want to prime it with some rope flow on the step up. Then when you're ready, grab your bell and we're going to do some step up, coiling coil, high pulls, backside coil. It's a lot, I know. Just copy what I'm doing with the real focus on that oblique, staying tight as you do it. Next up, the front side. You see the difference here? I change the leg that steps up. This is slightly harder because the weight's on that front leg, so you have to wait until you're weightless before you can take that step. Uh. Next up, step up, call and call, snatches, backside. Once again, you're moving the back leg, the one with less weight in it is the one that's gonna step up, a little bit easier. Then we move on to the front side, where this time it's the same arm that's going, but it's the opposite leg that lifts, so you've gotta be a bit more precise with your timing. And next, six point C, step up, RMT, cleans love how these look love how these feel the point with the step up is it's really teaching us to drive the hip up and drive off the balls of a foot a lot of kettlebell stuff people heels down on the floor they're not driving with the heel their hips as much as they could do and so this is encouraging us to do so next up we've got the pairing of the two we've got, we've got the clean and press this time you're going to do the, the clean with the step and then you step again and you press and just bring that other foot up there like a kickstand for balance then we've got the inverted version. This is technically easier, it takes less strength, but maybe some more coordination. You're gonna do the press as you do the step up, and then you're gonna bring the bell down into you as you actually step up into it, bringing that hip up to the elbow. Back then to as exercise eight with the hand-to-hand -hand snatch with the step up. Good challenge, coordination, give it a go. Finally then, I got a little bonus flow for you to try. The high pull, the clean, and then the snatch, and then the hand-to-hand -hand snatch to swap sides. High pull, clean, snatch all on one side. You can vary which leg you lift and then swap hand to hand snatch. Go again on the other side. Great coordination, pattern play, work in the brain, not just the body. Incredible fun. Nothing I enjoy more right now in the gym than this. So there you have eight new school kettlebell exercises. Yes, they're like old school moves, but you add a bit of walking, you add a step, you add that extra intention of what's happening in the core and you'll find it's quite a different move and you get a little more, more than a little more, you get a lot more out of your workout, out of your body, working as one system from the toes to the tips of your fingers. If you want to learn more like this, I just released a whole WEC method course within the School of Biomechanics. It's only $20 a month. You get so much in there. All my previous courses are in there as well. Got nothing to lose if you want to check that out. Otherwise, I will just see you here in the next video. Godspeed.